friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Miriam, and in today's video we're doing a 3a recap <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think that i have not filmed in almost over a year now i'm very excited for this video because 3a was a really tough one it has taught me a lot of lessons i'm also excited to share them because maybe it can help some of you as well but yeah in this video i'll be not only talking about schoolwork and recruiting but also some big life events that happened but yeah super excited for this video and let's get started just to begin 3a just started off on such a rough start on the first day of school i tore my acl that's how it all began. How I got to that point is at cheer practice. In the summer, I went to a couple of practices in Waterloo just because I was in Toronto, now I commute. Um, and they had like this cheer camp just to see if this is something that you want to do. So I went to a couple of those and I really, really, really loved it. I did gymnastics like all my life and cheer and gymnastics are very different, but similar in a lot of ways. So being back in the gym and doing these cool stunts really made me excited for being on the cheer team in the fall term. So yeah, I did a lot of practices in the summer and then on the first day of school, September 8th, I believe, it was an optional practice that you can go into the gym to like practice some more and those that did gymnastics could practice some tumbling. So I was so excited to be in the gym to do some tumbling. I love tumbling because when I tumble, I just feel so powerful and free. So being back in the gym to be able to do that, I was so excited and so determined to do it. Near the end of the practice, I was doing two back tucks on the tumble track, so two back tucks one after the other, so two backflips. And after my first backflip, I landed and I heard a pop in my knee. And then it was too late to stop, so I went into my second one, and once I landed both feet, I just couldn't feel anything in my right knee, and I couldn't stand on it, so I knew something was wrong. And after practice, my roommates took me to the hospital where they just gave me crutches and they did an x-ray and they said that nothing seems broken. The doctor thought it was just like a meniscus tear. He did get me in contact with a sports doctor. I think a week later I went to a sports doctor all on crutches. By the way, crutches are very, very painful and very hard. I still have bruises on my armpits from the crutches. Yeah, it was very tough to be on them, but I did go to doctors, I did go to classes. But yeah, when I went to the sports doctor, he did some like physical tests just to see like what he can determine from them. And he said that it should just be like a meniscus tear, it doesn't seem anything too serious, but he did book me in for like an MRI test. But yeah, during reading week, I went in to do my MRI test. It was a super, super early appointment i think it was like at 3 a.m or something but my mom took me in and i got it done and then a week later i got my results back and when i saw my results i literally like wanted to faint i couldn't believe that i was an acl tear just because i wasn't expecting it i couldn't walk and i was on crutches and i did hear a pop in my knee when the incident first happened but i guess i didn't do a lot of research into what that could be i kind of just trusted the doctors in thinking that it was just a meniscus tear for those of you who don't know what an acl is it's basically a tissue that connects your thigh bone to your shin bone in your knee the way that i think of it is like it's like an elastic so once you break that elastic you can't repair it on your own, you have to do surgery. Um, and I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do surgery or not. Thankfully, I'm back on my feet. I did a lot of physio in the fall term, so I'm able to walk again, and I'm able to do what I wanna do, like running, hiking, going to the gym. I'm very, very thankful for that. But when I was on crutches, it was so hard to do the things I love because at that point, I fell in love with the gym. Like I was going in almost every day, like I did have my rest days, but I did go in like, very consistently and so when I tore my ACL and I was on crutches I did still go to pack but not as often and it was so funny to walk into pack with my crutches thinking back to how it felt to be on the crutches brings me back to like very dark times it makes me very thankful for what I have now very thankful that I can walk and I can do the things that I love now that I told you how I started off 3A, I'll now go into more of my school term and recruiting as well. When I did tear my ACL, that was like the first day of school. So yeah, I was on crutches, I went to school, but I also was recruiting. And this was probably my most intense recruiting season, just because I started applying to jobs really, really early on in the summer. I think I started submitting my applications in July. And so by the time that September rolled around, I was getting a decent amount of interviews. I think a lot of those interviews were through the Grace Hopper database. In the summer, I did get selected to be one of 
30 girls from Waterloo that go to Grace Hopper and this year Grace Hopper was in person and I was still on crutches so I did still go to Florida in my crutches and to the conference in crutches. It was really really hard and I remember being very very stressed and very tired as well because these conferences are massive like I think over 300 companies were there in this big 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 stadium where there were so many booths for all these different companies and so i was walking on my feet a lot and i had crutches and so it was really tough and i remember going back home after those long days and just crashing but I also had to like prepare myself for like some interviews i had during that week it was a very very tough week but the results were very amazing and i'm very thankful to have had that experience to go to grace hopper not only was i surrounded by so many amazing wix girls but i was also surrounded by so many inspiring females in tech moving into october and november that's when i was hearing back from a lot of companies that i recruited through from grace hopper and to be honest i didn't get many interviews from Waterloo Works. I think I got five and out of those five interviews, I only got one offer. So it was kind of rough being on Waterloo Works. So that's why I'm very, very thankful for Grace Hopper. And I think that if you're a woman in STEM, I think Grace Hopper is so worth it. Even though it's a very intense week, the rewards are definitely worth it. Besides that, my other advice for recruiting is start really, really early. I was applying for summer 2023 jobs in july of summer 2022 so almost a year in advance i think that just puts you ahead of the game and it really helps you go into the school year with a little bit more of an ease so yeah, my number one tip is apply early and second don't be afraid to message people on linkedin and get in contact with recruiters it wasn't very very successful for me when i messaged a bunch of recruiters but some did reply and i was able to have some coffee chats with, but don't give up if you're recruiting, it is very hard. Moving into schoolwork um, and extracurriculars, to be honest, this term I didn't sign up for much. I was an orientation leader in early September, right before I tore my ACL, and that was a super fun experience. I met so many cool people and so many first years and got to experience orientation because I never got to experience it, so that was a lot of fun. But besides that, I didn't commit to other extracurriculars, especially with September being super packed and being kind of broken. In school, five courses again this term, I took CS341, which was algorithms, CS350, operating systems, CS346, applications development, anthropology, STAT231, which is statistics. I think the workload was pretty manageable. And to be honest, in 3A, I found that assignments were due more farther apart, so you had more time to work on them. Instead of having assignments due weekly for every single course, it was more bi-weekly, which made it so much more manageable. And this term, I really took advantage of office hours, especially for operating systems, because it was a really hard course for me, and I had to spend a lot of time debugging my code. So going to office hours really helped me for that. But to be honest, even though the workload wasn't as intense, I found the material really tough, especially for algorithms and operating systems. These two courses were my two lowest marks, but also at this point, I was so burnt out from school term, especially after recruiting for so long. Anthropology was completely online, so it was just like weekly quizzes and a midterm and exam. And then for stats, it was like four assignments, two midterms and a final. I really liked that course. I think the professor was incredible. And then finally, my last course, CS346, it was like an application development course in Kotlin. It was taught by Jeff Averys and he is the best professor I've ever had up until this point in university. He really cares and he really takes the time to give you help and give you advice. I think that he's an incredible professor. I really liked his slides. I really liked how the course was structured and he's a professor that really cares. So I always appreciate that. And I will definitely be taking more of his courses just because it's taught by him. I know I talked a lot about like 
my personal journey in this video but I do think it's important to film these videos to kind of recap my university experience this journey that I've been through and it's kind of exciting to be sharing it with you guys too maybe I can help some people inspire some people and always feel free to message me on Instagram I'm very very slow on LinkedIn but thanks so much for watching my video and I hope you have a great day I will see you later in my next video hopefully I'll film more videos about my journey here in California working at Apple um, but yeah thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye now